I see ghosts of our ancestors in our bodies today. And a fascinating piece of that past is found in our backs. One of the reasons why falling on our backs hurts so much is because of our inner monkey. Each of us have a vestige of our tail inside of us. We call that the coccyx. And that sits at the base of our spine. When we fall on that, it really can hurt. The reason why it hurts is because it's not covered by much tissue or muscles or whatever. So it's really kind of naked. So, ouch, thank you, inner monkey. Although it might be nice to have a long tail to help balance out here, our ancestors lost that appendage some time ago. I want to know when that change occurred. So this is my local zoo, the Lincoln Park Zoo. I come here with Michelle and the kids all the time. But today we're here to do something special. Look at that tail. So you see tails everywhere here. <laughs> this is like tail central to you. It is tail central. <laughs> I'm here with anthropologist Holly Dunsworth. She's taking me to the one place in the zoo where you definitely won't find a tail. The ape house. So this feels like home to you here. Yeah, <laughs> you know it, does. Guys. it does. They are by far the most like us of any creature on the planet. And it's not just because, you know, they're so social and behaviorally complex, and it's also because of their bodies, of their anatomy. Apes, and that includes us, don't have tails. It's one of the easiest ways to distinguish an ape from a monkey. Although scientists debate why our tails no longer hang behind us, we roughly know when it happened. We have pretty good evidence for when we lost a tail from the fossil record for ape evolution from Proconsul. Oh, so this is that straight from Kenya to here? Mm-hmm. This is a cast of a very famous specimen of Proconsul. It's an early fossil ape. It lived about 18 to 20 million years ago. And this is just one of the many partial skeletons that we've got of this creature. By finding many similar proconsul fossils, scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. And a tiny bone from the base of the spine reveals a lot about where its spinal cord ends. The shape is a good indication that proconsul is one of the first ape species without a tail. That is the last sacral vertebra of a proconsul. Okay. And I'm gonna try to match yeah, it up match it, to the help. one on this chimpanzee. This little bone here is this part of a proconsul. Oh, I see. So it's, it's that It's a smaller-bodied mm -hmm. animal than a chimpanzee, but you've got that anatomy there, that ridge, indicating to you that we're looking at the last sacral vertebra. Mm -hmm. It's tapered so much that it indicates that what follows would have no it tail. So if it was part of a tailed primate, it wouldn't be tapered. So taper, no tail. Right, oh, exactly. Awesome. Proconsul answers an important question. Sometime around 20 million years ago, our primate ancestors lost their visible tails and left us with a little souvenir. By adding this fact to our knowledge of that time, we are one step closer to understanding why that transition took place. Uh, you didn't call once. Uh, now we're gonna go here, ready? Thank you.